Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price. <laughs> and I'm afraid I don't. I'm afraid I don't know that line. I had to rake them across the coals or something. Mm. Shoot, you know, I forgot. Yes, I've had the odd complaint. But on the, the whole, whole, I've, I've been, been a saint. saint. <laughs> <laughs> to the poor of unfortunate souls. Freaking Ursula was the only one <laughs> who would say body language in a Disney movie. Special <laughs> <laughs> looks. Your pretty face. And don't ever underestimate the power of body language. Ha! <laughs> the men out there don't like a lot of blather. They think a girl of gossip. Gossip. They think a girl who gossips is a bore! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Let's just talk Disney. I feel bad because this is like a Toad Patrol. What? I feel bad because this is a Toad Patrol live stream. We're talking Disney. Oh, nobody cares. <laughs> well, I mean, same era. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, let's see. Patrona said... I started quoting, I've got friends on the other side, are you ready? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I don't remember the tune to that one. Oh. Bum, bum, bum. Are um, you ready? Patrona's such an enabler, a lover. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, one of my favorites, and woohoo, you go girls, love that song. So, guess you enjoyed our performance of Unfortunate Souls. <laughs> I can uh, actually sing better than that, I swear. <laughs> I can also sing better than that. I, I mean, not really. <laughs> I, I wish I could sing better than that. <laughs> uh, Riff said, Oh god, did you girls hear about the movie that's all about Maleficent? That's all I have to I've say about that. I've heard about it. Uh, starring Angelina Jolie. You know what, it doesn't even have to do with Angelina Jolie anymore, Tink. Like, if you see a preview, I saw, like, an extended preview on what it's actually about, it looks like complete garbage. Because, like, Maleficent's totally this B.A. villain, right? Who was like, uh, before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger and die! You know? <laughs> like, just, just like freaking that. And the, fairy, the great fairies were like, oh, crap, we have to freaking... You know, do everything in our power to save her. Oh, but we can't stop the curse, but we can hide her, you know? We can make it so that she doesn't die. <laughs> yeah. In this in this movie, in this movie, they had Maleficent quoting, saying, um... Oh, shoot. Shoot, I'm getting a phone call. I'm sorry, everybody, hang on. It's okay, mutant. Go off, do what you need to do. Hello? Holding down the party. Ah, uh, yes. Hello? <laughs> I am owning this party now. <laughs> don't mind me. Yes. Hold it down the party. Hey, I, I don't feel any pressure. Actually, it's it's been a good crowd, in my opinion. Cause this is just my opinion. We just we just a group of the cool kids. Oh uh, yeah, all the belief. Just don't mess up the furniture. Because the parents will be back and they'll be very, very displeased. They'll be very cross. <laughs> That's my horrible, ah, no. Horrible British accent of the evening. Open the house at Foxy's. Yeah, that's right. Gonna go party crash in at Foxy's. And make her eat cheesecake, even though she's trying to lose weight. <laughs> Which, in my opinion, is bogus, because I think that she already looks fabu. <laughs> someone has to bring the Kool-Aid, someone else has to bring the nachos. <laughs> ah, Patrona, you don't have to do that. Of course, I don't mind that you do, because I totally have a fat head, and enabling is totally what I thrive on, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's right, I'm shameless. No shame. Here, None to be had. Yes, all the ways to take advantage of being shameless. Oh, geez. No Walk off that cliff. Okay. Because all the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what I said or my laughter? <laughs> Cause I can sound pretty demented when I laugh. Not even gonna lie about that. I think you should do that. Yeah. The two. <laughs> hey, okay. Cause all the cool kids are doing it. That's right. No, I don't mind. Aw oh, man. Cool. Just looking at that picture of Beauty Sam is making me so nostalgic. So nostalgic right now. <laughs> That's all I care about. The only questions that I would ask is, so, uh, it's been done before, right? <laughs> and how high is the cliff? It, re it really needs to be one of those moments of, I love being covered in mud! If anyone's seen the recent My Little Pony episodes. <laughs> Uh, I want to see season two again, too. It's actually been a while. I've been... I kind of mentioned it earlier that I had Foxy sit down and I was showing her... Uh, excuse me. I, I was showing her to, uh, yeah. to Toe Patrol. Showing Toe Patrol to her, rather. Had her watch the first two episodes and... I don't know. I don't think she's... I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm, you can't make a huge judgment on two episodes that kind of throws nine characters in your face yeah. anyway, but, <laughs> you know, she's indulging my childhood and I appreciate it. So, got to, got to hook her up with the rest of the episodes of season one that are currently on YouTube, and hopefully someday I'll be able to hook people up with season two, because I was actually, this was a couple of years ago, uh, mind you, I was talking to the Sarsons. I, I guess it wasn't one of my prouder moments. Hey, you got to get to hear how badly I fail. Um, nice, Tigger. <laughs> I, I do, though. I do. What's going on? What I miss? Uh, just saying that I sat you down, showed you first two episodes of Tow Patrol. Um, I said that it's kind of hard to make a judgment on a series, like, first two episodes that kind of just kind of throws nine characters in your face. Ten right. characters in your face, <laughs> including Mistletoe. Uh... But, uh, let's see, I actually found the single link to, uh, oh, but the link was broken. Yeah. I'm sorry, Patrona. Uh, I was going to tell the story regarding Run for the Toad, season two, and one of my less prouder moments, because when, when I first met the Sarsons, I was pretty starry-eyed. I'm sure you guys can imagine. I was just kind of like, ah, heroes, ha ah, reach. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I think my attitude might have put Peggy off a little bit, which sucks, because I'm just kind of like, yeah, Peggy. But if I might just say, I think George is super awesome, super kind, and just overall amazing. So, you know, all that all that starry-eyedness, I, I think he didn't mind too much. I mean, obviously, I wasn't allowed to stay all up in his face, because he was busy, but... It's gotta you know. be a part of the territory, you know? Like, yeah. you make a show, you're gonna have fans, so... You, you would think, right? But I think Peggy ended up not liking me very much. Like, at first she indulged me, but then later, I think she probably figured I was a little shit disturber. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh... I don't understand why people hate you, Tinkerjet. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like I, like I said, I think I had a little bit of the, uh, the verbal diarrhea, because I was just so starry-eyed. Well, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute, until I start telling them stories, I guess, that I had written, like, based on their stuff, because I was a little nutso fan back in the day. I don't know. <laughs> Probably thought it was a little weird. Anyway. <laughs> Well, poop. Yeah, I don't know. Says I. I think they probably also figure, especially, you know what, I'm just going to say it, especially based on probably what they see from people who do do Toe Patrol art, you know, like the people who do, and I will say it, like the weird fetish art, and probably what they see of like, 
or what goes around about the furry community in general, mm. they probably figured I was one of those. Which I'm not. <laughs> well, that's but, not a fair assumption to make. No, but I'm saying that like if I if I come in and I'm like going on about this children's show and I'm an adult and you know they probably think it's a little bit strange and I don't, don't agree with making that assumption, but I can see where it comes from. Yeah, that's pretty much what's been happening with My Little Pony. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I've seen Rule 34 of Toe Patrol a couple of years ago, and I never want to see it again. Kind of just really sick just thinking about it. Ugh. Yeah. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> it's, ugh, it's terrible. Anyway, while I was having my not-so-proud moment, yeah, it totally gets better. Um, I, I mentioned that I had stayed late at the Thunder Tree Cinema because they they didn't and the marathon right away anyway because, you know, they had to clean up and take down the tents and what have you. And I, I guess they, they eventually knew, because I had already gone a few times, that the Thunder Tree Cinema was one of the last ones to come down because I would stay behind and I would watch episodes. Uh, so, um, there was... <laughs> there was There was one point when I was watching... Oh shoot, I forgot what episode it was. But I I got emotional and I started to cry a little bit. Aw, Tinger. <laughs> I I mean, I'll I'll be straight up and honest because um when Toe Patrol came out it was nineteen ninety nine. My mother passed away in nineteen ninety eight. So you know, I sort of attached myself to Toe Patrol and I guess kind of treated them like being my family, you know. And that might sound really strange, but I was, I was nine. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a show that holds a very special place in my heart. Tim, my you're talking yes. to me. So... <laughs> yeah. Like, like I said, it just wasn't one of my prouder visits. Uh, Patrona, I am 24. We'll be 25 in October, so... Woo! The big 2-5! Yep. The big two fi yeah, all right, getting old. Lies. But what is that, Johnny? What is that? I need to bring me my medicine. <laughs> okay, so Patrona, we're pretty close in age. Yeah, no, close enough. Works for me. We're all pretty close in age, actually. <laughs> in our 20s. No, I'm the old fart. <laughs> Lies. And besides, even if you were, you're my old fart, so. <laughs> Don't even want to hear it. Lols. <laughs> Riff said he thought he was the old fart. Ah, uh, now I'm pretty old and I can fart. <laughs> <laughs> I got farts that that smell as old as I am. <laughs> oh yeah, I was. <laughs> I was going to finish my statement, but I think I saw that Riff finished it for me. In the movie, she says you will fall into a deep, or she will fall into a deep sleep, not die. So. That might be really nitpicking sounding of me, but Maleficent is like the best Disney villain ever. So you better get her sweet. right. <laughs> she is pretty sweet. And I'm, I'm sorry to have taken this down like a really uh, rough path, but I was just going to say that um, George had left me alone for a little bit. I was watching, you know, the episodes and then he came back afterward and uh, I had asked him if it would be possible for me to get copies uh, of the episodes. And he said, like, if I brought blank DVDs, he'd do that for me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. George, George is always sweet to me. Peggy, not so much. <laughs> is that I his wife actually, or something? Yes, his wife is Peggy. Biot. So, I, w I would like to go back there, but unfortunately I have not had the opportunity to do so. Unfortunately, my work schedule is bunk. But I would actually like to go at one point and also participate in the marathon. Participate in the marathon and just end the day hanging out in the Thunder Tree Cinema. That would be so sweet. I think you need to listen to Patrona. <laughs> She's telling me to do it. She says, for the love of everything, <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Oh man, I I remember how I bawled when I first saw the episode The Sacrifice as a kid. There's another one. Dang it! <laughs> Patrona, I have my own vehicle. I'll come pick you up. <laughs> Bar everything. Going to run for the toad. That sounds like fun. Do you think you can swing by the States and get me? <laughs> <laughs> Foxy, don't even underestimate how crazy I am. I'd do it. Tinkerjet, you are absolutely nutty. <laughs> and you will. And <laughs> <laughs> now Rippa's asking if I could swim to the UK. Hmm. I might have to get my floaties checked. She is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, a road trip with a bunch of cool people. I'd do it. I'm crazy enough to do it. I think I am too. <laughs> Seriously. Let me I'll check my temperature. <laughs> Let me check yeah. my temperature. Yeah, I'm nutty Thermom enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thermometer says crazy. The thermometer says Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I actually wonder how many Toe Patrol fans we have around Toronto, because, like I said, I'm totally nutty. I'd do it. In fact, yeah, I would totally pick you and this up, because you guys could totally come stay in my apartment. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I shall kidnap you, Moolah! <laughs> Emiger! <laughs> I would try to organize something, but at the same time, I'd... Yeah, I don't want to be that creeper who's just like, hey, who wants to jump in a car with a stranger and go to this event? Nah, you totally, totally put it on a website or something. First. Eh. Not but a creeper. Patrona, Patrona would do it. <laughs> well, at least I got one. And then there was one. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm totally an axe murderer in my spare time. It's fantastic. It's true. She murdered me. <laughs> I, I visited Foxy. She's not here. She's a spirit. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is ghost Photoshop with ghost Fox Pirate. <laughs> it's it's true. She had my ex. It was fantastic. I gave it back to her after she murdered me with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's true, isn't it? Oh, that's that's hysterical. Yes. <laughs> You needed it back, so I gave it to you with my little ghost hands. <laughs> uh, you know, actually, it's it's true. Foxy and I have hung out in person. Foxy is the sweetest because she took lowly old me into her apartment, put me up for, what was it, two weeks? Was it two or was it one? Mm. I can't remember. We had a fun two or one week, though. <laughs> <laughs> a fun one or two weeks. So. We had a fun one or two weeks. We did work on Dry Zone, and we watched the Lorax. It was fun. It was fun. And there was cheesecake. And there was cheesecake. I shall murder you. Cheesecake. Mm, cheesecake. Mm. The Lorax is awesome, just FYI. Seriously. I don't care what anyone else says. I can I be? Oh, freaking <laughs> amazing song. Week. Yes, I love it. <laughs> and apparently we floored Patrona because her cheeks hurt from laughing. <laughs> uh, that just makes me happy because this is Mission Possible. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what this is, and you know what? I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Patrona says it's Kim Possible. Call me, beat me, if you want to reach me, if you want to page me, that's okay. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Rufus. Oh my gosh, naked mole rat, best yes. thing ever. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> Step pet rats, so naked mole rat, yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> those things are freaking smart. Yeah, it's a naked mole rat. I actually did have actual pet rats, and they are smart little buggers, so I, I was okay. Rufus was fantastic. Yeah, incidentally, I also had a Toe Patrol fan character named Rufus. Aw, ye. Have. Do have. That's right. right. And, well, I want to do an animation with him, but I'm not skilled enough to do what I want to do. We will learn, Tinker. Yeah. Uh, must learn. I've been wanting to script for days, but my flexor tendonitis won't have it. 
Patrona wants a pet. Pets are amazing. But I just what kind of pet what... does she want? Well, she said she'd be okay with anything, really. I mean, I guess then it depends. Do you want a pet that you can spend a lot of time with, or do you want a pet that kind of can take care of itself, or, you know, just stays in the cage and does whatever, or, you know, you have to let out to go do its business? I mean, you know, all these things to take into consideration. Like, if you're fine with cage pets, I think rats are amazing. They're incredibly intelligent. You can train them. Um, you know, with fish, they really don't require anything. Uh, Riff, we were just talking about uh, pets, because Patrona said that she wants a pet, but she's not sure. She so. should get a toadlet. E toadlet! <laughs> I would love a toadlet, but unfortunately they require a lot of maintenance. Like, Do I, they? I, I don't really remember too much in my schooling about reptiles. Well, I mean, well, I mean, just keeping aquariums in general, you know. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying because you have to keep. Uh, turtles also require a lot of maintenance, but like yeah. I said, it's not. It's not even like the maintenance of the actual animal; it's the maintenance of the aquarium. The aquarium. You have to keep the hot light on at like a certain degree. Mm-hmm. And you always have to make make sure that it's clean. Mm-hmm. Water pH isn't too high. Yeah. Yeah, aquatic life isn't fun. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's something, you know, if you ferrets, really like aquatic animals, go for yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. And she was also thinking of ferret or chinchilla. In my opinion, I would say chinchilla. Nothing against ferrets, but they are really infamous sprayers. I think my uncle had a ferret once, and it stunk, like, so bad. But he really loved it, and he would take it out of its cage and just, like, swing it around, and the ferret would just be like, yeah, I'm cool with this. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do have a reputation for smelling. Um, I think you can actually get They're them in operation. Cute, They're freaking adorable. Oh, they are adorable. I think you can actually get them in operation to remove their scent glands, though. Yeah. But but, you know, I, I know uh, it's probably a very expensive operation. Because it's not necessary. So, yeah, yes, that's what I'm saying, right? Most likely. Exactly, like skunks. And, you know, just like skunks, they have the, the, the scent glands in a similar area. So, yeah. I wonder what it would like to have a skunk for a pet. Uh. What? I wonder what it would be like to have a skunk for a pet. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know if it had its scent glands removed. I've heard that they're quite affectionate animals. Really? I've heard that. Hmm. You know, don't take my word for it, but that's that's what I've heard. I've heard they're quite affectionate. It could just be, you know, it's... Oh, Patrona heard they bite. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah. You know, when you take something that's meant to be wild and try to put it in your own home... I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> that that's true, actually. I like the way you're doing Beauty Sun's eyelashes. Ah, oh, thank you. You're welcome. I wanted to make them just a little bit thicker rather than just a line. Yeah. I I kind of did that with Beauty Sun's eyelashes and Patrona's picture, and now I feel kind of silly for doing it. I'm like, meh, but they could have been so nice. <laughs> well, Tinker, you have flexor tendonitis. <laughs> That's true. The less work that I I do, the better. <laughs> you know what you can do? Um, I can teach you. Um, actually, I can just do it right now. See, I'll make another layer right here. Mm -hmm. You can take your pen tool and just trace over the eyelash. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that right now. Close. Make sure you close your path. Right yeah. click and then fill path. And oh, I see what you mean. I don't know whatever that is, but yeah, you just do it like that, and it's a nice little. It's an eyelash. Thick eyelash for you. That's that's lovely, Foxy. I think I'll do that next time. Yay! And that's exactly the same as just using a pen tool to line it. <laughs> Nothing extra you have to do, so it shouldn't hurt your wrist. Yeah, I applaud, but. Wrist pain. This thing is stubborn. Every little thing I do. Mm. Yeah. Oh well, you get applause from everyone else, though. <laughs> oh, 
I love it, I I don't mean to complain so much, but it really has inhibited everything that I want to do. I mean, the only thing it hasn't really inhibited, I guess, is my voice acting, and I have really no excuse, but I haven't gotten back to uh, it yet. I'm going to be a part of this now. Hugs. Yay. Hugs from Foxy, everyone! Hugs! Because, yes. Hi, honey. And beauty that I'm sure is a beauty. Wait, well, second episode? You sure are. <laughs> That's right, Earth Star. That cad. That cad. He's such a cad. Everyone wants Earth Star, though. <laughs> right? He, he's, a, he's a cad who, okay, you know what? <laughs> he's, a, he's a cad who actually gets all the chicks, Hi. so. Yeah. Yes. Yes, actually. Hi, comma day. Yes, I have. We have quite a bit of people watching us. Really? Uh huh. How much is quite a bit? Seven. It's quite a bit, actually. This is more, more than I was expecting. You can see my drawing. Do yep. they hear you right now? Yes. Okay. Hello, and, everyone. Uh, this, this is Panda. My yeah. finance. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I boiled down to. You know what? No, I, I didn't mean that joke to be, like, double meaning. <laughs> I accidentally misspelled fiancé once, and it looked like finance. <laughs> <laughs> I misspelled fiancé once, and I got finesse. I've gone from, like, angry video game Let's Player to the finance. <laughs> <laughs> Also, Patrona applauds you for the self-taught lessons. I gave her a hug yeah. because I saw that message and thought it was sweet. Yay! And she's making sure, making sure we're all up to date. Her. You have to draw a picture now of a panda in a top hat with like a big wad of cash with the <laughs> text. I promise I love you all. I'm not ignoring anyone. Yeah. My finance. <laughs> Shoot, um... Thank you, Patrona. You're awesome too. Just letting you know that because you are. Well, you, I'll tell you what, you think about it. Oh, your cheeks are not allowed to hurt. You're an awesome person. My next live stream. How about that? That's right. All right. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Well, then good. <laughs> your, your cheeks may proceed. We shall all be happy. That's, it's 5.54 right now. Well, let's see here. I'm going to zoom out. I am very proud with today's progress. And I really don't want to break up the stream, but unfortunately, I do have a place to be tonight, and I have to eat dinner before we go. So, thank you all so much for joining us. This is seriously, I'm excited about it and so happy, and I just want to say that you're awesome, all of you. All of you, I'm so excited! <laughs> Hopefully, um, maybe you can join us for the next live stream because I'm pretty sure Ting is going to want to join me again. Oh yes. And um, I don't know when that will be, but I will be sure to post in my DeviantArt journal as to when it will. I'm not All sure. I'm for is money. That's right. Money bags. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Finance. Shoot, you made me lose my train of thought, Finance. <laughs> <laughs> I will be posting the next time I stream on DeviantArt. It probably won't be uh, the rest of this week or next week because we will have a visitor up and I won't have very much time. But it will be again soon because I had a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. And I hope you guys did too. And again, thank you so much. I'm welling up with emotion here. Mm. Thank you guys for being an awesome crowd. It was so well, fun. Yes. Tinker Jet, do you have any final words? I was so happy to be here and so touched by the people who came out. And just overall, happy. We're a good crowd. It really was. Mm hmm. It really was a good crowd. And I hope everyone will be able to join us next time. Yes. Yes, I hope so. Yeah. So peace to all. We love you all. Yes. All Take care, everyone. Thank you so much again for joining us. 
Bye-bye for now. Bye.